Hi everybody, it's Thursday, which means it's time for Appy Hour. Sally here. I haven't done an Appy Hour in quite a while. Um, you know, things happen, schedules get crazy, trainings get live in person. <laughs> so um, I want to show you something today that is super cool and exciting. Um, ice Morning from Splash Top, which is a company that does some mirroring of devices and things. Uh, they have an update for their Mirroring 360 app. Um, and it allows iPhone and Android uh, users to display their device onto their computer. Um, typically, this has to be done via something called AirPlay or um, with the same Wi-Fi connection. But now, it doesn't need to have the same connection. So this is really, um, really critical for teachers who want to be able to take their iPhone or their Android phone and, or their tablet and be able to show it on their teacher computer and through the projector in their classroom. And so I'm going to show you how to use this product. I downloaded it this morning, tested it out in my office. It's working great. Um, so I just want to walk you through the steps on how to do that. So let me switch over to my computer and I'm going to take you through a couple steps. All right, so I'm going to share this screen over here. Here we go. All right. Some and making sure that it switched over. There we go. I don't know if you had a delay. I had a delay. Um, so you can go to mirroring360.com and scroll down to their product here. You'll notice there's a free seven day trial or the introductory offer, which is $14.99, which is cheap. It's a lot cheaper than trying to buy an Apple TV device um, and get that connected or even buying a Chromecast, which we don't have HDMI input right now in our district, except for the new Indio High School. Um, but anyhow, this is um, free download for a seven day trial. I recommend that you download it for free first and try it out. Um, that way you'll know if you like it, if it's something you're going to use. Okay, um, so I just clicked free, downloaded the little program. It does, actually, let, I should have uh, logged out first. Sorry about that. Let me log it out so that I can start totally from scratch for you. So this little icon down here in my tray. Here we go. Let me quit it so then we can start it from scratch. All right, here we go. Okay, so then I'm going to, it will help you to sign into the program, but then I'm going to go over here into my little start menu and open up Mirroring 360 now that I have installed it onto my computer. All right, I'm going to open it up so you can see what it looks like when you log in. Here it comes, here it comes. Didn't pop in there yet. We're just waiting for it. Cue the music. Okay, here it comes. There, I see it down here. All right, so Mirror, Mirroring 360 is running. I'm going to actually come into the settings in case, um, because this will be uh, prompted the first time to set up your settings. Okay, if it doesn't, you can come down here and right click it and tell it to go to the settings. Um, but I do need to come in here and I do have auto launch on mine so when my computer starts up, um, it will run automatically. But really you want to go to your network and make sure your proxy settings are on auto so it will detect the proxy. And if this isn't working for you, you can also do a manual proxy if your computer is on a manual proxy. All right, they should be on auto detect. Um, but if you are using some program that needs a manual proxy, you can do that. And you can certainly email me and I can help you set that up if you need it, but should be on auto. All right, there are some other advanced things in here if you want and what kind of resolution. I am using uh, an iPhone 5 that, to do my mirroring, but you can certainly 
change it if you have a 6 or a 4 or an iPad that you want to uh, change your resolution for. Okay, so those are just a couple quick little things there. And then when you are ready, you are going to go to your phone and go to your Google Play Store or your iTunes App Store and you're going to, or excuse me, just the App Store, and you're going to download Mirroring Assist. Okay, um, let me pop this back open here. Mirroring Assist is the name and it has this little icon on it. Okay, it's also the same icon for the Mirroring 360 on my computer over here. So you wanna search in the store for Mirroring uh, mirroring assist, not mirroring 360, mirroring assist, and it will install on your phone. The app is free. And then actually I'm going to switch over. You'll see here, I've turned it on on my computer. I went down to my icon, right clicked my little splash top icon, opened up mirroring assist, and it gives me this QR code, quick response code, that my phone is going to scan to make the connection. And I'm going to come back over here to stop presenting my screen for a second so you can see me and I can show you on my phone. See that little icon down there? This one down here. That's the one you want. Okay, so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you how to connect your device and your computer. All right, so it comes in so you know my resolution's really bad here. I don't know. Let me try and uh, make my screen dim. Or will that help you? That's better. Sort of. I should turn the lights off in my office, but then it's really dark. Okay, so you come in here, and you've got a few little options on here. Um, you can see. Uh, the first one is how to share my iPad, iPhone screen to a computer, or it would be Android if you're on an Android phone. Um, two, help me connect now wirelessly. Three, troubleshooting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, going to go to number two. Now, the other thing that you need to do um, is have your phone connected to the wireless and to Bluetooth. They have Bluetooth on. All right. So if you're an iPhone user, you need to swipe your screen up and have those two little Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on, okay? If you need help to connect to the wireless on your device, there are instructions on our website. Um, I'll try and get you a link for that here. Um, and if I can't get you the link, I'll put it in the comments on the video, okay? So you can connect your device to the Wi-Fi um, at your school site. All right, so you do have to have the Wi-Fi on. You do want to be connected to DSUSD Wireless. You do need to put in your username and password. That way, apps that require internet will work on your phone, okay, and require a connection. So I got that on. So now what I've done is on the app, remember how I had those one, two, one, two, threes? I went to number two, okay, and I get on this little green message that says turn on AirPlay mirroring. So I'm going to click on that. Okay. And I should now be able to swipe up from the bottom. Oh, it's going to do it for me. Sorry. Turn it on. That's what's making sure that I'm connected to uh, Bluetooth and to Wi Fi. And then down below that, down below the green button for turn on AirPlay mirroring, there is a red button that says connect with mirroring assist. So I'm going to click that red button. Okay, it's telling me step one, download it on your computer. Okay, click on mirroring assist. And then it's giving me this little circle down there in the bottom. So I'm going to click down there. My camera comes up. Ah, okay, now I'm going to take this and scan the QR code that's over here on my computer. So I'm going to scan it. All right, and it's recognizing now. It's got my computer name in there, which my computer name is Deck Tech Sally. Um, your computer name would be whatever the three letters for your school site are in your classroom. And so that would show up there. Okay. And now what I do is I swipe. Sorry, I should be showing you. So now here it is. My computer name is up there. So now if I swipe up from the bottom, I see my AirPlay. 
All right, and it's given me the options for either my phone or my computer, Deck Tech Sally. So I'm going to click on Deck Tech Sally. I slide on the little yes for mirroring, and then I click done, and my phone is now showing up over here on my computer. So I'm going to switch back over to my computer view so you can see it. All right, so screen up to share. Here we come back over. All right, so there is that QR that I scanned. I can close this now. And you can see, here's my phone. I'm going to swipe down on my phone. All right, I, this is not a touch screen monitor. Remember, I'm still on my phone here. So these are the instructions that I was giving you. And I'm going to just back up Oop. really quick, back, 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 so you can see. All right, here, so here was that one, two, and three that I was talking about, okay? You're gonna wanna make sure first you download it on your computer, then you're gonna go to two, turn on AirPlay, mirroring, all right? That'll tell you, walk you through it. Basically, make sure your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth are on. Click that red connect with mirroring assist. You're gonna scan that QR code, make sure that the mirroring is on, and then you're all set. And so now I'm gonna use my circle button, my home button, get out of there. Here's my phone swiping back and forth. You can see apps that I've installed. This is my personal cell phone, okay? Um, and I can go into any of these. I'm gonna go into uh, some apps here for my kids. So if I want to um, have a hangout with Elmo, I certainly can, okay? The sound is delayed for a second here while I'm connecting. There it is. But whatever sound goes with the app, will come through your computer. Okay, so I can say, let's talk. Elmo's calling me. Hi, Elmo. So now I'm FaceTiming with Elmo, and all my students would be able to see it on my computer. Pretty cool. Hi. All right. So I can do that. I can do any of my apps that require internet, like Twitter. Because I have permission, woo, sorry, dropped my phone here. Because I have permission to have Twitter on my teacher computer, I have permission to have that app work on my phone connected to the Wi Fi. Okay, I could also go to uh, Google Plus, better cut that out on your teacher computer. Um, but if you have an app that you've downloaded that you really want your students to be able to see, um, like um, I know some teachers use, uh, like I, oh, what is it? Um, an iBook or an iMovie or something that, anyway, my, my memory is failing me now. You can go on to those things and from your phone and have them display on your teacher computer. So really awesome tool. Um, if you need help setting it up at all, uh, it's really pretty simple, just a few steps. Um, if you need help connecting your device to the Wi-Fi, to DSUSD Wireless, I've got those directions available for you, step-by-step -step with pictures. Um, otherwise, pretty cool. Great solution for lots of teachers that have been wanting to take their phones or their tablet devices and show them on their teacher computer and through their projectors. All right, hope you're having a great one. I'll see you guys later. Bye.